Hey guys, Aaron here from Mitz Alloy. So we get a lot of questions about roof racks, awnings, you know, which one should I use with what roof rack mounting system. Today, I've got both of our roof rack mounting options on the two cars behind us. And I'm gonna give you a little walkthrough of what you need to consider when choosing your rooftop tent and your roof rack mounting system on your Evo 2 canopy. Let's have a look. Okay, well, while we're here, I think we should start with the Land Cruiser and the roof rack up the top here. This roof rack that we've got mounted on this canopy here is our most commonly requested roof rack mounting system, which is just your full length roof rack. As it suggests, it's the same size as the canopy. This rack up here that we've got is mounted directly to our nut runner channel, which is exclusive to Mitz Alloy. We use a M10 bolt um, flipped upside down, which slips in behind here and just simply mounts the roof rack to the canopy. This roof rack here is made up of our own exclusive extruded metallo plank, which also has a uni strut, which you can mount whatever you, ever you want to it. It's just a simple spring nut that slips in there. And then on the side here, we've got an additional side profile that also allows you to not only you know, add strength, but also as another tie down point so you can add whatever you want onto the top of that roof rack. Okay, around on the BT50 here, we've got our multi-rack option, which is just a three bar setup. This is the one that we recommend mainly for rooftop tents, but you can use it for other applications like trade and stuff like that. But this is the one we generally steer our customers to um, if they're gonna set their canopy up with a rooftop tent. It is our exclusive Mitch strut uh, extrusion. So this is all in our canopy, so it's our substructure in the canopy. Um, so, a good benefit of this is it is a bit cheaper than the roof rack uh, option and you do save on a bit of weight. So it's a great option for mounting the rooftop tent like you see here. Just before we get into you know, selecting your rooftop tent, another major consideration you need to think about is what awning are you going to be running. With both of these roof racks, uh, we do have specific mounting options for each rack. So let's take a closer look here. Awning bracket that we're running on this roof rack is our OG awning bracket on the back here. Just mounts straight into our uni strut on the planks there and it is slotted on the top side of the bracket up here. So it does suit a wide variety of awnings, you know, from all your 270s and 180s to your rollout awnings as well. So back over on the BT50 here, we've got our multi-rack specific awning mount here. This one is designed with rooftop tents in mind. It also allows you to easily mount your awnings, but also made with that slimmer profile to allow for a rooftop tent. So when choosing a rooftop tent, one of your biggest considerations you need to think about is the overall width of the tent. So with our roof rack, you do need a maximum of 1440 width including your gussets, your gas struts and everything on the rooftop tent for that rooftop tent to be able to sit inside the profile on the roof rack itself. You can still mount a rooftop tent that is wider than 1440 mil, but one thing you'll have to do is space it up over 40 mil to be able to clear the side profiles on the full length roof rack. Uh, as well as that, you won't be able to use our OG standard awning mount and you'd have to go to an option like this having the multi-rack bars. So it kind of defeats the purpose of spacing it up. So this is where the multi-rack option comes into its own. It allows you to put a rooftop tent wider than 1440, and it also allows you to still mount a awning with the awning bracket if your tent doesn't have its own sort of awning mounting system. So when it comes to mounting your rooftop tent, um, most rooftop tents do come with some sort of mounting option uh, attached to it already. Um, like you see on the Darchi one here, it's got this little extrusion here. So it just makes it easier to mount. Um, what we recommend is a easy bolt through system. So I'd recommend drilling directly through this extrusion. There is a strap that runs through there and then using our mitt strut or uni strut in the full length roof rack and directly mounting it into a spring nut in our roof racks. If your rooftop tent comes with a U-bolt mounting option, um, we recommend using our multi-rack. It's just the safest and easiest way to mount that rooftop tent to the multi-rack. Well, there you go, guys. Hopefully this short video has helped you answer some questions that you might have regarding, you know, rooftop tent and mounting solutions for your canopy. So if you've got any more questions, give us a call or head over to mitsalloy.com.au.